everyone, welcome to my channel and today's tutorial is going to be on loops. I'm going to be explaining the difference between each loop today and what they're used for exactly. So let's get started. I'm really sorry that I haven't been around for a while. I've been in school and job hunting so I am currently having, I'm currently going through a lot but um, I just decided that I needed to get back to making YouTube videos again. So, so if you're a programmer I'm sure you heard of three different types of loops. We have while loops, for loops, and do while loops. I'm going to be explaining the difference between each of those today and how you can implement them into your projects or your homework assignments. Um, I'm going to be starting off with a while loop. And the syntax is basically just while, parentheses, parentheses, and your condition will go inside of those uh, parentheses and then you will put code between the brackets. Basically what happens in a while loop is that everything that is inside these brackets will iterate depending on the condition everything that is inside those brackets will happen so let's say you set a variable equal to something or you want something to be printed to the screen or you want a certain function to happen anything that is in between these brackets will happen if the condition that you set inside these parentheses is true so let's say let me think of a condition we'll int x and i will set it equal to 10 something simple nothing too complex and let's make a condition. Um, let's say if x is uh, greater than 9, while well, x is greater than 9. Basically what this means, while x is greater than 9, it's going to do whatever is in these brackets. So let's say system.out.print test worked. Answer to this, how many times do you think this program is going to run? How many times do you think test worked is going to print? Well, the answer to that is it's going to be an infinity kind of thing. It's going to keep printing because x is always going to be greater than 9, seeing how I set x equal to 10. So it's not going to stop looping through, and that's the point of loops. It's going to keep looping while this condition is true. So there it is, we have basically like an infinite amount of test worked, and that is because x will always be greater than 9. Now let's set some conditions that can kind of prevent this from incrementing continuously. Let's say x minus minus. Basically x minus minus means decrement once. So if x is equal to 10 and it decrements one time, then x is officially equal to 9, making this conditional statement right here false because 9 is not greater than 9. 9 is equal to 9. So basically, this is going to keep looping while this statement is true and after it prints out test work, it's also going to decrement x by 1, meaning it's not going to print again because this condition will be false. So let's print this again and see what happens. See, it only printed out, sorry, my battery's low. It only printed out test work one time. So that, my friend, is an example of a while loop. Basically, everything that is in these brackets is going to actually do whatever we ask it to do based on this condition. The next loop we have is a do while loop. And before I explain it to you, you need to know the syntax first. So you have, sorry, so you have do and then you have your brackets and then inside those brackets you can have your function or your print statements whatever you want and then you have your condition which determines how many times we're going to execute what is in these brackets basically there is one small difference between a do while loop and a while loop and basically anything that is in these brackets is going to execute at least one time it's always going to execute once because it says do so let's put a print statement in here that says, uh, test worked. I'm only putting simple things in here just so you can get the idea of how I do while loop works. So basically I could put a condition that is completely false in here, like while x is less than 9. As you can see, x is not less than 9, x is equal to 10. So this is completely false, meaning you would think that this isn't going to print at all. 
But in fact, like I said, a do while loop is gonna print whatever is in his brackets at least one time, regardless of this condition. After it increments once, then of course it's going to check this condition. So let's see. And then the last and most complex loop we have is the for loop. There also is another loop called a for each loop, but I think I'm just gonna explain that in a different video because these are the most common loops that people use, but you could also use a for each loop as well. Anyways, a for loop involves three main components. So we have our variable, int i. Generally, i is something that people use. And then we have our condition, which determines how many times whatever's in the bracket is going to execute. So let's say, well, i is less than, we could say less than x. Don't forget to initialize x. You can set it to 1, 0, 10, anything you would like. And that will also help determine how many times whatever's in the brackets is going to execute. So for simplicity purposes, we're just going to do the same print statement, test worked. However, obviously for loops, while loops, and do while loops are going to be more complex. If you are getting into programming, there are different things you can do with them. So let's determine how many times. So basically a for loop, I'd say the main difference between a for loop, a do while loop, and a while loop is that you can kind of set how many times whatever's in the brackets is gonna execute. It's kind of up to you. You have this variable here, which is basically your starting point. So i is gonna start at zero, and it's gonna keep printing while i is less than x, which is 10. But i is gonna keep incrementing every time it loops through. So if you look at this, we have int i equal to zero. So it's gonna start at zero. It's gonna print while i is less than, i is less than x but every time it loops through, i is gonna increment by one. So idealistically speaking, this should print about 10 times. Let's see how many times it prints test worked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Let's increment this to one and see me how many times it prints out. It should be nine times. Yes, it printed out nine times. Basically, you can kind of set the for loop to print a certain amount of times. It definitely just depends on what you put in these parentheses. Anyways, that is all I have for today. That is the difference between a while loop, do while loop, and a for loop. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below and I will answer them. I usually respond to all my comments. And feel free to check out my GitHub. I um, have posted some projects on there. And I will also be posting these as well. I haven't been posting my like tutorial code on GitHub, but I think I should start it's just so that you guys can take a look back at it if you want to. Anyways, subscribe to my channel and happy coding. <laughs>